Ladies and gentlemen, this is a journey into the English language. A journey into the DNA of the English language. Really? The DNA of the English language. Now that's a really quite a strong claim. I find your lack of faith disturbing. Who are you? You talking to me? You talking to me? You know who I'm talking to. I'm a school teacher. I teach English composition. Oh, really? Yes. Hello there. Welcome to another edition of Luke's English Podcast. Now, this is a very long-awaited uh, edition. Um, I've been getting messages for months and months about this episode. And finally, it's here. That's right. You're going to listen to the special guide to swearing in English. Well, in British English, to be specific. So, in this episode, we're going to look at all of the swear words in British English, exactly how rude they are, exactly what they mean, and exactly how you should use them. Not that you should. You shouldn't use them, of course, because swearing in 99% of cases is completely inappropriate. Sometimes it's appropriate, but most of the time it's not. So, I recommend that you do not use any of the swear words that I've that I teach you in this episode, um, unless um, the situation really demands it. So I'm here with my brother again, James. Hi there. And um, so we're going to deal with the whole subject of swearing in English or in British English in this episode. And now, we, we are going to swear. Yes. We are properly going to swear. I'm going to come on to that in a moment, but we will be doing <laughs> a lot of very explicit swearing in this episode. It's going to so be X-rated. It's going to be completely X-rated, that's right, it's the X-rated edition. I'll give you a fuller warning later on, but before I do that, I just would like to make a couple of announcements. First of all, thank you very much for any of you who voted for me in the Macmillan Dictionary Love English Awards. I'm nominated in the best blog category, not that this is actually a blog, it's a, it's a podcast, it's not really a blog. Hello but too. Doesn't have really. To do. yeah. we'll, we'll take it if they. Well, Luke will. Yeah, they, yeah. Know. I certainly is there, will. Is there an award ceremony? I'm not that I'm aware of. A bit like the Golden Globes, something like that. That would be good. Yeah, if those are cool. A Golden Globes for like teaching English. <laughs> it would via, be via the internet. It would be boring via the medium of the internet. I yeah. don't think they'd get Ricky Gervais to come and no. present it. Unfortunately, Shame. Shame. Um, but I don't know if there's going to be some glamorous um, kind of award ceremony with a red carpet. And you and me can walk up the red carpet together. I'd be like, oh my God, isn't that Luke from Luke's English Luke podcast? Luke from the- and all the paparazzi will be sh- snapping away, and he'll probably have a wardrobe malfunction. Yeah. And he'll have some fit bird on his arm. That's a bit of slang, we'll talk fit, about that later. But a fit bird, that's a, 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 an attractive, a sexually attractive uh, lady. But that is a little bit, I don't know, what was he saying? P- sexist. Of, slightly sexist to call a woman a bird. Yeah, but I was just in character as. It was just brother. just messing around talking about this fictional awards ceremony for um, English teaching on the internet. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's not going to happen. It's, is it? it's not. <laughs> but hopefully, anyway, I will win. Moving on. Hopefully, I will win the award. So, thank you very much if you have voted for me. I think at this point, I'm on about 400 votes. The voting closes on the 30th of January, so I really, really want to get up to at least a thousand in order to beat some of my competitors. Have you checked if you can vote twice? You well, um, you can vote twice, but you can only vote once from one IP address. So basically, what we're saying is, vote once at home, vote once at work, vote, get your mates to vote at work on different computers, then phone your nan, that's your grandma, get her to vote if she's internet savvy. Um, If she isn't. Well, just go round to her house, <laughs> teach her how to use the internet, and then get her to vote. What you should do is go round to your grandmother's house, convince her, persuade her to get the internet. She'll buy a computer. It will cost her a lot of money. She probably can't afford it. She should be spending that money on heating and food and things. But never mind that. Just get her to buy a computer. Get her to subscribe to the internet and then log on to the Mac- Macmillan website and vote for me. It's worth it just yeah. for one vote, one yeah. extra vote. What, Even do, it, what do Macmillan do? They, they publish dictionaries. Right. They're okay. a very, very highly respected publisher of dictionaries. Pretty you, hip. But Pretty it's basically cool. Oxford, Cambridge, Longman and Macmillan. They're the... Uh, so then, then number four in a sort of category of four. <laughs> I suppose so, yeah. <laughs> They're the fourth best dictionary makers in, in, the, in the world, possibly. Yeah, they are. Well, fourth okay. best dictionary makers in the world. And I've got the opportunity to win a very prestigious award for best blog 
on the internet. Um, so please do vote for me. You can find a link on and the you're going to give away the prize, right? Yeah, if you yeah. win, you're going to yeah. give it away. If I win, I receive a dictionary, a lovely new dictionary from Macmillan. And if I win it, I will offer that to one of my listeners in could my own be competition. Quite big, quite expensive to post. I don't mind. I'm willing to make that sacrifice. It could cost me £20 to send it to somewhere. I'm just, you know, that's what I'm willing to do because... Um, you know, that's that's how much I appreciate all my listeners. <laughs> yeah. You feel right? I'm not feeling too sick. No, that was a bit nauseating. Okay, so I'd like to make a, a special announcement to uh, one of my listeners called uh, Jarosław. I'm pretty sure that's how I pronounce your name, Jarosław. He's Polish, isn't he? He's from Poland. Nice one, mate. Um, What's he done? Well, he given you some money. Um, no, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I got an email from him today. Uh, which I should mention. Um, he hasn't sent me any money, not yet. But he's big up the Polish massive. Yeah, that's right. You went to Poland recently. I've been there a few times. Been there many yeah. times. I've got you're, friends over there. And, uh, kind of I'm a I'm a big fucking. <clears throat> well, <laughs> you swear. We haven't started swearing yet. <laughs> you fucking idiot. We're, I'm a big thing in Poland. I'm a big deal. Do you know who I am? You're famous in Poland. No, I'm not famous. I go over there and DJ with a friend of mine in a town called Torun, okay, uh, which is near uh, Bidgosh. All right, and it's cool. Nice place. Nice people. Um, they like a drink. They nice. do, don't they? What uh, vodka, <laughs> beer, <laughs> anything they can get their hands on. Really, any booze. But, um, yeah, I like it. It's a, a warm welcome always, and okay. um, good fun, good times. Well, um, Yaro or um, Yaroslaw uh, from Poland. Um, I'm making a special announcement to him because he's the one who originally nominated me for the award. Um, uh, on the Macmillan website. Oh, I see. Yeah, he um, he actually messaged me on Facebook to let me know that uh, I'd been nominated in this award, and that's now why I'm completely obsessed with getting votes. <laughs> so, uh, thank you very much, Yarrow, for your support and for your message, and I really appreciate that. Um, Yaros, Yaroswaf. Um, I'm trying to find your second name, Yaroslav, but I can't find it. But hello to you and to your friends and family who I believe uh, listen to this podcast as well. So thanks very much for nominating me for that award. So please do vote. You'll find a link on the web page. Now, um, the swearing thing, swearing. Now, mm. I must warn listeners, we, we really want to warn uh, listeners to the podcast that um, in this episode we're going to deal with swear words, rude words, offensive words, and taboo words. So please... I'd like to say at the beginning of the episode, do not listen to this podcast if you are easily offended by rude language. Please don't listen to the podcast if you don't like rude words. Do not listen to this episode if you're shocked by explicit terms or explicit words. Do not listen to this if you're very sensitive about discussing taboo topics. And I was thinking... Um, if there should be an age rating even on this episode. Eight, 18. 18. This is a serious 18 certificate. Like if you were going to the cinema, bang. 18. You know, not suitable for minors or anyone who works on the ground. Oh, that was a joke. Oh, I don't think we can uh, explain that. So it's not suitable for minors. A minor in America... Let's, let's pass it. No, no, I want to explain it. A minor in America is someone who's underage, but also a minor is someone who works in a mine, uh, maybe a coal mine or gold mine underground. So, <laughs> what James did there was... That, uh, was, this, that this, was a joke. It's not suitable for minors, he meant... Yeah, let's, get, let's skip on. So, yeah. basically, 18, it's X-rated. X-rated! And it's serious, serious rudeness, Aguan, in this episode. Okay, so please don't <laughs> listen if you, if you get shocked. Um, I do not want to shock anyone. I don't want to offend or upset anyone. I just want to educate people and tell you about the swear word thing. Now, I, this isn't very common. You don't. I never actually teach the swear words in my classes. Only sometimes, really. That would be inappropriate. It's more. I find it's the first thing you learn when you learn a new language because mm. it's kind of fun and people like teaching you the swear words because it's funny hearing yeah. people say it in their own accent. And, it's, and also, it's quite handy to know when you're being insulted. Yeah. Um, and then we can cat. You know, what did you just say to me? You what yeah. did you say to me? Right, you, outside. Now, I'm going to fucking do you, mate. Except you don't, because you're in another country, and yeah. you want to keep your head down, if anything. Yeah, exactly. Be, be careful. But um, a, a student in one of my classes recently uh, did ask me to explain all the swear words to him, and I said, sorry, I don't have time, but I will do a podcast, and you can listen to that. Right. But he, he asked me that because he'd been recently in Hammersmith, 
you know, there's like a dodgy area in Hammersmith. It's, the, yeah, it's called Hammersmith. Yeah, the ca- there's a council estate there. And Ooh, he was sounds ne- a bit snobby. He was near this council estate. It's a rough area. Sh- sh- the, he was near this council estate, and some kids on the council estate were shouting and swearing at him, and he didn't understand what, what they were they saying? saying. I don't know. He didn't understand what they were saying. <laughs> they were probably but, saying, "Hello, mate. How you doing? I you having a nice day?" I don't think so. Um, so yes, but you should listen to this episode if. You want to know all the swear words in British English. Um, but I, also, I think we've got a good tradition of swearing. Yeah. A lot of... It's not... I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. Swearing has a function. Imagine a, a language without swear words. It'd be pathetic. It'd be weak. I think they, they, they add richness and variety to our language and add, you know, meaning and passion to what we yeah. say and do. So yeah, I absolutely. think I'm a fan of... Personally, I like swearing. You just have to know when to use it and when yeah. not to use it I agree I think swearing can be a lot of fun and then when, when I'm with you and our friends in the pub we all s- will swear a lot it can be really effective as a way of emphasising what you're saying can we start swearing now have um, we got past the warning well I stage? don't know what I'm going to do is um, go through all the swear words step by step we're going to okay. start with the kind of least offensive ones um, yeah. and we're going to build them up um, and eventually we're going to get to like the most offensive so we're going to start with the the kind of um, the mildest okay. uh, words, and we're going to end with the strongest, rudest, and most taboo words. Okay, go for it. Um, so, but I must remind you: do not swear, please. Uh, you shouldn't repeat these with you know in your classes or to your teacher or something like that. You must remember there are only certain situations when swearing is um, appropriate. And I was trying to think of what those situations it's are. It's up to you to decide. That's the thing, but. Generally, in polite society, you, you try not to swear too much. But when you're friends with someone, or you're having a, a joke, or having fun, it's okay. Yeah, I think also it's, you can be very dangerous if you say swear at someone in traffic. They may get very angry. Yeah. get out of their car and try and beat you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not to be used lightly. It can really seriously offend people, and you can get you it can get you into a lot of trouble if you. And swear. We're not. We'd like to say we're not responsible for any beatings or arguments or. Any, any kind of violent acts that yeah. may occur as a result of this yeah. language. <laughs> <laughs> That's us. That's our, you, you know, use, dis- disclaimer. You should use swear words at your own risk. At your own risk. Yeah. I was thinking that they're quite appropriate on the football pitch. It seems anything goes I think in you the can world say anything, football. Especially on the terraces. The first yeah. time I went to, to a football match, I heard words I had never heard before. Yeah. And since, all since. And, um, <laughs> Yeah, so that seems to be the main place. Football pitch. Yeah. Um, also, usually when you're with very close friends in the pub or something, then you can swear a lot and stuff like that. But anyway, so let's start. Now, I thought we'd start at the very beginning with kind of like not very offensive words. And it seems that these are words which used to be offensive, but they're not so offensive anymore. Mm. And for example, 50, 60, 70 years ago, these would have been genuinely really, really offensive words. And they yeah. tend to be religious Sort of Christian mm. religious words. Loosely. So I'm, I'm talking about words like damn. Damn you. Damn you. Damn hell. you. Damn you to hell. Mm. Um, so da- to damn, what does it mean? Well, it's like when God basically decides that you should go to hell. It's like, it's, it's like being, I don't know, yeah, I don't know. It is. I it's, can't think of a better description. Yeah, than damn, that, yeah. damnation is when God yeah. basically sends you to hell, so right? It's quite a serious subject. Yeah, yeah, well, if you believe in all the religious yeah. stuff, then it's very serious. Yeah, the, the words, the meaning of these words often is very, very serious and, and so on. But the word damn isn't that offensive anymore. Nowadays, you wouldn't have a problem saying that. You'd say damn, like if, if you hit your nail, hit, hit your thumb with a hammer, damn, uh, damn it, or damn you, or damn you to hell. Um, sometimes people say blast, but that's really old-fashioned. Hell, like, oh, hell. Mm. Um, no one really says that anymore. Not really. Bloody. I say bloody hell quite a lot. Oh, bloody hell. Bloody hell. Like, but normally when, like, you know, your emails... Oh, bloody hell, my bloody email's not working. Yeah. My bloody computer's broken again. Oh, bloody it's hell. It's kind of you might say at work, because if you're at home, you probably swear more heavily than that. But when you're around people... Yeah. Like your boss, you could say, oh, bloody, oh, bloody hell, hell, that's okay, that's kind of okay. Bloody hell. So that's not too bad. That's I would give bloody hell, whereas damn is like one star. Is a one. Bloody hell Bloody would be hell two. is like two stars. So bloody hell is two stars. Then we've got like, um, bugger. Oh, bugger off. Oh, bugger, oh, bugger it. Well, that oh, means, bugger off. That actually means sort of anal sex. That's it? actually, bugger means. that is pretty, pretty offensive. The, I'd, the, say, I'd give that a three. 
Bugger is a three. But it's very old-fashioned. Yeah. No one says, oh, bugger off. You so think you're an old major or Just something. to clarify, bugger actually is a verb which means to have anal sex. Now, that actually is a very um, taboo subject, isn't it, really? It is a bit. It is. It's a very taboo mm. subject. I think the meaning of the word is a lot more offensive than the actual word itself because people say bugger um, quite a lot it's oh bugger off I don't think they say it very much I think not, it's really gone out of fashion yeah but it's not as rude as, as other words right, right? what's next so that's about three bugger uh, bugger off it's buggered if something is buggered it means it's broken it's like the, my car is buggered yeah you might use broken. that a bit more often yeah. yeah sometimes you call someone a bugger are you daft bugger it right? sounds like you're from the 50s but it's old fashioned yeah, yeah you, you stupid bugger um, then I thought we've got things like piss. Cock, piss, partridge. Well, just piss. That's an Alan Partridge thing. That's Alan, um, that's a TV show. Oh, piss off. Piss off. I think it's all how you say it as well. Yeah. I mean, if you say it really aggressively, oh, piss off, you could well, really offend someone. Yeah, yeah, it depends on like the way you stress the word, oh, mm. piss off. Yeah. Obviously, it's worse than piss off. Yeah. You know. But it's, the, it's a sort of slightly rude word. It's just pretty three rude. and a half, isn't it? Three and a half? To four. You think it's more rude than bugger? It's more, it's, it's more often used. It's no common. one says bugger anymore. It's more common. I mean, like an old major from the war, Second World War, might say, oh, bugger. Oh, bugger. But it's unlikely he's going to say, oh, piss. Yeah. I think of the words that we've, that we've dealt with so far, I would say, uh, oh, bloody hell, and piss off are the most common. Yeah, and the rest of them are too old-fashioned. Yeah. So piss is actually urine, right? Yeah. It's, it's urine. And so you can pi- piss is a verb. To piss means to urinate. Um... But uh, piss is also a noun. It means urine. Uh, so, and you can also say piss off, which means go away. So if I'm annoyed with you, I'll piss off. Yeah. Or you can say I'm pissed off, ah, which actually means I'm annoyed, I'm upset, I'm, or annoyed. I'm angry. Or oh, annoyed. I'm really pissed off. You know, with <sighs> I'm really pissed off with my computer. It's so slow. Yeah. Or I'm pissed off with the Tory government because they want to build a 60 million pound yacht and give it to the Queen for her yeah, birthday yeah, that's actually true it really pisses that me really off it really pisses me off how out of touch these yeah. uh, conservatives are so to be pissed off is an adjective and it means to be angry or annoyed and you can say that that pisses me off that makes me annoyed or angry alright um, uh, you can also say uh, it's pissing it down outside it's absolutely pissing it yeah, down yeah that's very common yeah and that means it's what's raining. the weather like pissing it down mate Pissing it down. Absolutely pissing it down, which means it's raining heavily. It's pissing it down. And you can say, oh, what a pisser. Yeah. What a pisser. I missed missed my last train. I had to get a taxi. It cost me 60 quid. What a pisser. Yeah. And a pisser is a really annoying thing, right? So what a pisser. Then I've got, after that, sod. (laughs) Sod off. You stupid well, that's sod. Abbreviation uh, of s- sodomy, yeah. which is again anal sex. Buggery, same yeah. same meaning. Sod off, mate. Sod off. It's you a bit old fashioned. Sod. It's a it's bit, a bit old, old fashioned, fashion, isn't it? Yeah. It's maybe a bit cockney. Sod off, you wanker. <laughs> <laughs> so sod uh, mean um, sodomy is anal sex again. I told you it would be rude. I warned you. Yeah. If you're sitting there going, "What are they talking about? Anal sex? This is disgusting." I expect. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe you're, maybe uh, I don't know, maybe we've got another situation. Come on, let's, we've got a lot of words. Yeah, to get okay, through. we've got loads of words. All right, so sod, sod off, sod it, arse, arse, arse. That's a good, <laughs> there's a good sketch. If yeah, you type well, into YouTube the fast show arse, yeah, you that, will find the clip. That's a comedy sketch from a TV show, and all it is is basically a farmer bloke just saying arse. Yeah, for some reason that's, that's funny. funny. I don't know why. That's who, funny. Who can quantify I'll, that? I'll put a link to that on the web page. Arse. But, so anyway, arse. We in America that's ass. Ass. And we say arse. But we say arse. I think arse sounds a lot better. Ass yeah. sounds a bit. You asshole. And and your arse, of course, is your bottom, your behind, your yeah. your, your, your derriere, bum, your bum. Um, and you're, and the, the other one is like you'd say oh you stupid ass," or you ass." oh you really arsed that up yeah um, you, to ask something up is to make a mess of something to fail so you really asked that up it's quite a good one that isn't it mm. oh you really asked that up I, mate you know, yeah I did a, I had a presentation to do in front of my boss and I really and I, asked it yeah. up I, I played the wrong tape and, you know, yeah. pornography came it's on. Real, really <laughs> Actually, that would be worse up. than asking yeah. up. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> anyway, anyway. anyway. Move, move um, and another word is asshole. You, you, you fucking asshole. 
I think it sounds better with the the English British accent. You, you asshole. A- asshole is American. It's used a lot in American films, isn't it? Like you asshole. You, you've you freaking asshole! You asshole! You asshole! The arse, we've got arse, we've got more arse, arse you. You, you, you asshole, you, you absolute <laughs> asshole. I can't believe you did that, you asshole. You know, it's that's really quite rude, powerful. isn't it? I'd say that's a five or a six. Wait a minute, um, piss was three and a half, so you stupid asshole, that's got to be four. I'm okay. going to go with okay. four, right? Asshole is four. Then prick, you prick. I quite like that one. I and mean, that, that just means penis. A but. prick is a penis, yeah. What, you stupid prick. What we should probably get onto is a lot, it seems to be, from what we've worked out, the offensiveness of the word is down to not what it means, but how it sounds. So, yeah. say, willy is another slang word for penis. Mm. Now, you silly willy doesn't sound very rude mm. at all, and no one would be offended by that. Yeah. But if you said, you stupid prick... Yeah. It's just the sound of it, so aggressive, yeah. it kind of carries that aggression. That's true. The meaning itself, I mean, a penis is quite rude. I mean, it is. It is quite rude, a penis. Mine certainly is. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but a penis is quite rude, but the, there's several words for a penis, like the word willy is like the word that a child would A use. child's word, but yeah. But if you, an adult, you might say prick, you prick. Or you dick. So a dick, yeah, is the other one. You stupid dick. But I think it's, again, it's how it sounds. It's where the the sort of the feeling comes What from. you're saying is that these rude words have got a kind of a plosive sound, like dick or yeah. prick. They've yeah. got a violent, plosive yeah, kind of sound. It's kind of aggressive and violent, yeah. yeah, yeah, so yeah. You fucking prick. Yeah, it's got That's, it's got real it's snap a, to it's it. A, it's a plosive. Yeah, prick. is that what it's called? Plosive. Yeah, plosive, not yeah. explosive. No, just plosive. 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 Um, and uh, dick, um, prick, dick. Yeah, exactly. Also, we have things like have, dickhead. Have you got dickhead? That's a good yeah. one. That's a you commonly. And you don't dickhead. really pronounce the age. You just go, you fucking dickhead. Yeah, you and a complete dickhead. dickhead. A dickhead is an idiot, basically. Yeah. You stupid dickhead. And that's, so that's quite rude. That's more rude than prick, isn't it? It's, oh, you prick. It's you quite dickhead. It's quite sort of putting someone down quite a long way, isn't yeah, it? If you call yeah. someone a dickhead, it's not like you're scared of them. You're really, like, above them. It's, it's really quite, nasty thing to say to yeah, someone. Yeah, you dickhead. If someone said that to you, you'd be quite hurt, I yeah. think. Yeah, I reckon if I was playing football and um, someone passed me the ball and I missed the goal and someone said, you dickhead, I'd feel really bad. You'd, I'd, yeah, you'd feel hurt, wouldn't I'd you? I'd cry, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'd go home and I'd cry. Is this it? bringing back memories of school? No, it's not much. No. Not, <laughs> we'll maybe, talk about maybe, that maybe, later. maybe a little bit. We'll discuss that in another session. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, uh, dickhead. Then I, I thought, I'd raise the stakes a little bit. Oh, well, um, I've got a uh, twat. You twat. Twat. That's a good word. Twat like is a very common word. It means... It's a, it's a vagina. A vagina. A yeah. fanny. A vagina. Well, a fanny in American is your ass, isn't it? But yeah. Anyway, anyway let's not get into that. that. But so, twat, that's a really good one. You stupid twat. You twat. You <laughs> dickhead. You twat. You're such a fucking twat. Thanks. Um, no, you shouldn't say I that. I don't think I deserve that. No, I didn't mean it. <laughs> I was being sarcastic. Um, so a twat is a vagina and, um, like, the, obviously, the, w- the but thing body is, like, part. If you're talking about, yeah, let's not go it's into a, it. It's now, a body, but, but now, the, like, the, the early swear words that we said in this list, like damn and blast, they were religious swear words. Also, you can say things like, oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus, Jesus, or Christ, or for Christ's sake. And that's kind of offensive to some people because you're actually invoking Jesus Christ there, which is something you should only do at the end of the Wicker Man. Yeah, never mind. When you're being put into a massive Wicker Man and set on fire by pagans. That's the only time you should legitimately say Jesus Christ. You're talking about a movie which no one will have seen, probably. But anyway, anyway. Wicker Man, look up the end of the Wicker Man. Actually, actually, have you seen that video? There's a brilliant video um, of a man in Richmond Park. It's fantastic. <laughs> you might say, let me Benson. let me explain it. It's, it's Fenton, and I it's, it was Benson. Uh, it's Fenton, and it's um, basically the situation is there's a lovely video in Richmond Park, which is a very nice big park in South London, and there are deer in Richmond Park. We talked about deer in our last conversation. You know, what do you Bambi. call Bambi. Bambi. Bambi? What do you call a deer with no eyes? No idea. Um, there's loads of deer, so someone's videoing the deer in the park. And then you hear, in the distance, someone going, Fenton! Fenton! <laughs> Fenton! Fenton! And, it's, and you realise that it's a man shouting at his dog. 
and slowly you see all these deer running away and then a little dog running after the deer and there's a man chasing after the dog going Fenton oh Jesus Christ oh Christ Fenton that is the best that is the best oh, use of, that is the best use of Jesus Christ I've ever heard I'll put the Fenton video onto yeah. uh, the webpage it's so funny um, but the thing is about that video I reckon the, the deer were more spooked by him running screaming Fenton than they were by the dog oh they, Christ they can probably deal with a dog yapping around them these days. Yeah. yeah but yeah. it was him like making all this noise that was the scary Everything. Yeah, it, and the deer pan and panics, and it's actually quite dangerous because be- they run over a main ro- or a small road. Yeah, it's a beautiful day, a very peaceful day, and then <laughs> suddenly this guy running through the field, Fenton! Oh Jesus Christ, Fenton! It's fantastic. So anyway, we were talking about the word twat, which is another, <laughs> which is like the word idiot. Basically, you stupid twat is a uh, an idiot. It's pretty offensive. Yeah, I I'd think say that's a six. That's, no, no, we're we're, st- we're only on four at the moment. Oh, I think okay. that's more offensive than. Than dickhead, twat. Mm. I think it is. Yeah, that's I think a five at least. Twat is about a five because it's the connotation of it meaning. I think a vagina is more offensive than a penis. Ooh, that's is- issues, issues. But Calling I just think Freud. That, I think that they are because the vagina swear words are more offensive than the penis swear words. Dick, pit, uh, dick, prick, and cock, and then you've got for the vagina ones twat and then the C word which we're going to come to later on <laughs> right, I think that the, 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 yeah very funny the vagina words are more offensive in my opinion anyway so that's twat you stupid that's, twat that's debatable but yeah. we can come to okay. that later um, then um, where else are we so then we've got I can see my favourite one of the lot wait, wait a minute <laughs> we, were talking, we were talking about the fact that swear words offensive words used to be religious and now it seems they're either sexual or about the body so we're definitely in the sexual body rude words here and uh, the next word is bollocks now you talked about bollocks last time and you talked about the sex pistols because they had an album called never mind the bollocks yeah. here's the sex and pistols. it's in big writing on the yeah. front of the album some people said it was offensive and tried to have it banned mm. it went to court from i don't know who was taking them to court i guess the obscene publications act something, something like that no, the i don't know who was trying to say. Yeah. or maybe it was the record shops that try, i don't know who, who the hell knows who took them to court but anyway they won because it's a legitimate word it's in the English language, and it was proven not to be just a gratuitous swear word, but an Anglo-Saxon word for yeah. balls. So, b- bollocks is testicles, and it's a very old word. And isn't like Chaucer, didn't he use it, or Shakespeare, I or something? Shakespeare, well, I don't know. We so should check. It's this. really old. We, should, we shouldn't just say these things yeah, without yeah, checking. Yeah. But but just, anyway, you can do your own research. The fact on that. is, it's a very old word which has been used for a long time. But it's a rude word. It's a very it's a good one word. when you'd like drop something. Oh, bollocks! Yeah. Oh. Bollocks, it's just such a good sound to it. Yeah. Like, oh, bo- oh, bollocks. Oh, bollocks. Oh, no, bollocks. bollocks. But also, you can say bollocks to mean bullshit. Like, <coughs> if you say something like, yeah, I've got a big Ferrari outside, yeah, bollocks. Bollocks. That's bollocks, mate. Bollocks, mate. Bollocks have you got a Ferrari. And also, where the name, never mind the bollocks, is a sex pistol. Steve Jones, the guitarist, said it was something he used to hear around the market traders around his area yeah. when someone said something they didn't agree with they'd go never mind that bollocks never mind the bollocks yeah. never mind that bollocks like yeah, as in never mind that nonsense forget that rubbish yeah. you know forget that rubbish ok so bollocks though means testicles and it's it can be used as a way of expressing anger oh bollocks and it can be used as a way of expressing uh, the fact that you think someone is saying something stupid that, I think that, it's best that, when, that, wait, wait a minute yeah. that, that's bollocks mate I don't believe you um, and also it means nonsense never mind that bollocks so it means nonsense and in America the, the equivalent would be bullshit that's a load yeah. of bullshit whereas we'd say that's a load of bollocks yeah but I think it's best used when you make a mistake yourself oh bollocks and maybe maybe you're doing the painting and you kick the can of paint and it goes all over your floor you go oh bollocks oh bollocks that's the kind yeah. of the best use of it now uh, if you say that's bollocks that means that's nonsense that's bullshit mm. but if you say that's the bollocks that's that means it's brilliant. Very interesting point. Yeah, that's the bollocks. It's a bit like saying that's shit and that's the shit. Yeah, we're going to come to that in a yeah, moment. But that's the bollocks. It's not used very often because it means. That's, the, what about the dog's that's bollocks? The, that's the dog's bollocks. Yeah. Who knows where that one came yeah, from? Yeah, if that some makes ba- no sense. Basically, if you say that's the dog's bollocks, then you mean that's brilliant. That's yeah. the best. So if the, um, you probably wouldn't use it about food though, would you? You wouldn't say, "I tell you what, those Italian meatballs—they are the dog's bollocks." <laughs> 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 
because <laughs> that is confusing. You wouldn't say this sushi is the dog. <laughs> no, because that would be absolutely this, disgusting. This, this, these <laughs> Korean meatballs are the dog bollocks. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> oh, um, oh. No, you'd no, say, you'd say certain, certain things that are brilliant. You can describe them as the dog's bollocks, but not food. I'll tell you what. The first four, the first four Black Sabbath albums are the dog's bollocks. Black and, Sabbath, yeah. a rock band, yeah, and brilliant from Birmingham. Um, so the bollocks, um, and I think bollocks is a little more <laughs> offensive than twat. Maybe it's similar, but I think bollocks is more offensive than twat. Uh, the the dog's bollocks. That's a load of bollocks. Um, balls um, it's not too offensive that's that's a bit like prick or something balls means your your gonads your nuts it's not used that often your is it, testicles really? balls oh, no balls it's quite balls. posh actually it sounds quite posh doesn't it it's a bit old fashioned oh, balls balls to that let's open another bottle of wine <laughs> um, gonads uh, nuts that kind of thing um, cock did I mention that <laughs> cock you stupid cock. Um, cock it. <laughs> no one says that. <laughs> no. <laughs> cock is um, obviously penis, we've mentioned that. But so I find that students say the word cock sometimes without realising it. Like, it's also the word for a chicken, isn't it? A cock. Well, there's that, um, I think it's sort of Chinese cock soup. Have you seen it? No. Old cock flavoured soup. You get it in a lot of Chinese supermarkets. And yeah. that bus is hilarious. Cock. Don't ask me. We're very immature people. Cock flavoured soup. Yeah, cock flavoured soup. That's with, with Korean meatballs. <laughs> but the cock flavoured soup. The dog's to us, it's like endlessly funny. Yeah. We're just sad people. Cock flavoured soup. And they yeah, look chicken. out for it. Chicken look out for it. But yeah, that's yeah. It's, a, it's another word for a chicken. Also, I often hear students saying things like, I, I'm a cock in a kitchen. And they mean I'm a cook. In the kitchen. Oh, yeah, yeah, funny. Um, so, bell end. <laughs> you bell end. That's you stupid bell end. What, are you going to describe that one? What do that you is? want to explain? I'll explain what a bell it's, end oh, is. I'll, oh, go it's on the, then. the bell end is the, is the glands <laughs> area of the penis. So, uh, otherwise known as the helmet. Um, <laughs> so, it's the, it's the part of the penis on the top that looks a bit like a helmet. Probably like a, on an erect penis. Maybe. More than a flaccid one. That's called the bell end. It's, like, <laughs> it's a bit like a bell. You stupid bell end. Right? It's underused, that one, isn't it? I'd say. That should be used more often. It's, it's a good swear word, that oh, you. You fucking bell end. He's a total bell end man. Yeah, don't then, don't employ that guy. He is a bell end. Bell end. Bell end is like um, the a bit of an idiot. An, an idiot. Yeah. Then I've got uh, you bastard. Yeah. Well, that, well, so that means you know, old in old fashioned language, it means child with no father. Child with no father. I suppose right? that's what it used to mean: an illegitimate child or a child who who was born when the parents were not yeah. married. But that uh, used to bastard. be a really serious taboo. It was terrible. And yeah. I suppose it still is in some places, but it's becoming less of a taboo as yeah. marriage is. You know, a lot of people have now but have single parents or whatever. It's not as big a taboo as it used to be. If, if bo- still a pretty rude word, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. If bollocks is a, a number five, I think bastard is about the same. I think it's about a number five as well. Yeah. You bastard. Um, and it's it, nowadays we use the word bastard to mean a horrible, nasty person. So utter, utter bastard, Rick. Rick. <laughs> it's Vivian from The Young Ones. We another link t- to all another, get another TV show that uh, most of the listeners won't know about. You utter, utter bastard. That's from a TV show called The Young Ones. The Young Ones. And we grew up as children watching that show, and it was like really exciting to watch it. It's like the first punk rock yeah. uh, comedy, really. Yeah. Even though it wasn't really about punk, it had that attitude to it. Yeah, yeah. bastard. Anyway. You bastard. You utter bastard, Rick. Now, if you're from the... I'm sa- going to take your head off with a cricket bat. No one's going to know that reference. Um, if you go... So the, if you're in the south of England, people will say bastard. If you're in the north of England, they'd say bastard. That's true. We should you point out that bastard. we've got London kind of fairly middle class accents, I suppose, and not yeah. everyone speaks like us. Everyone, you know, if you go up north, I say you, you fucking s- bastard. You fucking bastard. You what have you total done? Oh fucking what bastard. You, what have you done, you fucking bastard? What are you doing? And we haven't even covered Scotland. I mean, they're the, probably the best swearers in the world, wouldn't Wait. you say? The Scottish. Uh, yeah, maybe. 
I mean... If you watch a programme like The Thick of It... The Thick of It and Malcolm Tucker... Yeah. Again... Answer sh- that question, you fat fuck! <laughs> <laughs> we shouldn't talk about TV shows too much because, oh, yeah. honestly, people don't know no, them, them really, so all right, we shouldn't okay, talk about right, those things. Right. So but we could link to some of these. Yeah, I will put links to videos yeah. on this page and you'll be able to see people swearing really well. Oh, I, I forgot about Tosser. <laughs> tosser. It's just a funny word, isn't it? And it mean it means someone who masturbates. Mm. Um, the masturbate so in no way we're all tossers, aren't we? <laughs> Speak for yourself. Um, I think more more offensive than tosser is wanker. You wanker. You wanker. So a wanker or a tosser is um, again a, a, no, a nasty person. All right, wanker. Yeah, it's like a, a, a nasty, horrible person. It's a sort of snidey. Yeah, you, you wanker. You stupid wanker. You little wanker. Yeah. So a wanker, tosser, and to wank means to masturbate, and that's what um, uh, someone does when they s- please themselves sexually. But wouldn't you say on their own? Some of these words wank. work aimed at men, and wouldn't you wouldn't call a woman a wanker? Yeah, it's would true. You? It's true. It's true. It's funny, and you wouldn't yeah. call a woman a bellend. Well, well, well you might. Talk, let's but. let's go into that in a minute. I'm going to mm. note that down. Things you would say to a men, and things you would say to women. But now I just want you to. Wouldn't, yeah. I want to carry on going through the list, and we'll deal with things like the situations that you'd use these words in in a bit. All right. Um, so we've done wanker. We've done tosser, cocksucker. Very and American. Fucking cocksucker. Very American. Peckerhead. Uh, but, <laughs> <laughs> that, these are all I must say that these swear words that we're explaining are all really British English ones I'm not talking about American swear words because I'm not American yeah, and they have, they're very good at it we're not putting down the Americans yeah, I mean Samuel L. Jackson a, a I, master class in swearing I love, I love American just a swearing different, it's just a different feel somehow I love American swearing but I just feel like we are not experts on American yeah, swearing we're not going to claim to represent yeah. America because we, so, we don't live there something like cocksucker is really American you I, you Frickin', you fucking cocksucker, man! You peckerhead! Although I don't think you're saying <laughs> no, peckerhead anymore. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, cocksucker, cox it's Oops, quite sorry. clear what that means, I think. So we're going to move up to another level now and just uh, bring it into shit. Shit, okay? This is a kind of first one of the swear words that you, you'd have a true... I don't know, they're all pretty offensive. These, this, but there's something, it's st- it is stepping up a level, I don't yeah. know why. I think this is like at least six, level six, maybe level seven. So shit is, a, is, a, is in you the top... You could probably say all of these others, if you're fairly, yeah, in a fairly relaxed... No, but in a fairly relaxed work environment, you could probably get away with all the early ones. Mm. Wouldn't you say? Mm. Yeah, depends yeah, how you say it, depends how you say Wanker. it. But as soon as you step up to shit, although... Shit's not really that offensive anymore, is it? Yeah, but basically, shit. Oh. I think shit is in the top three or top four swear words. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Just go with it, okay? Mm. Um, so, obviously, the word shit as a noun, we all know, means poo, feces, the brown, smelly stuff that comes out of your ass. <laughs> that is shit, right? We all do it. We all have to do it every day. Um, that's shit, okay? So, uh, but the noun shit, but also uh, the ver... Shit can be a verb. Um, I'm going to go and shit. I'm going to take a shit. Take a shit, have a shit, do a shit, or just shit in the toilet. Shit yourself, for example. It would be if you do a poo in your own pants. Lovely, isn't it? I told you, again, I warned all the listeners, didn't I? Didn't that, didn't a disgusting image, isn't it? It is, isn't it? But I warned everyone. Oh, fucking shit myself. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> oh, I had that fucking curry last night and it's gone oh, right through me. I've just God. shit me pants. Oh, I've shit me pants. Oh, <laughs> fucking hell. I think it's rude because it's just such a disgusting it's image. Just and it's just such horrible, a horrible word. Really horrible. And it's that aggressive sound again. Shit. 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 Yeah, it's an aggressive sounding word. So, um, shit. Um, again, you can say that's shit means that's really bad. What do you think of the movie? Oh, I was shit. Oh, I was shit. Man. But again, you can say that's shit means that's really bad, and that's the shit means that's brilliant. Yeah, I never really understood that. Don't know why. Yeah, that's, that's the shit. That's just the it's shit. It's quite literally the, the shit. shit. So, uh, to have a shit, to have the shits. If you have the shits, it means you've got diarrhea. Right, um, eating those Korean meatballs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you can also say, "Are you shitting me?" No one would say that. All right, I think they would. Are you, sh- are you shitting me? Are you shitting me? It's American. It's American, and it means, "Are you lying to me? Are you shitting me? Are you lying? Are you, I shit you not." 
It's quite British. <laughs> no one says no, that. They do, they do. I shit you not, mate. I shit you not means I'm not lying to you. Right? Okay. Um, sh- you shithead. Yeah, that's quite a good one. There's a card game very popular with students called Shithead. Yeah. Very, very boring it's game. Don't, if anyone says, hey guys, should we uh, have a quick game of Shithead? Just make your excuses and leave. Go down the pub mm. because Shithead is the most boring game ever devised by but man or woman. It's not true. It's quite a good game. It's fucking rubbish because there's a formula to it. You can play it yeah, with your eyes closed because, yeah. well, without thinking, there's an exact formula to that game. There's no skill whatsoever. Right, just... I Shut hate the game shithead. It reminds me of really boring students. You're a shithead. Anyway, um, so shithead, shit face, you fucking shit face. Or I'm shit. I'm shit face. I like, shit, that, one. Shit I like that one. I was absolutely shit faced, mate. I tell you what, I went out, had an all day session, started at lunchtime, I had 12 pints of Guinness, I was shit faced. All right, just let's slow down a little <laughs> bit. Slow down. I'm just good putting it in know, context. It's good, it's good, but I want to just slow it down a bit. So let's go back to shit face, that's like shithead. Like you know, yeah. shut piss off, shithead. No one really says um, that. But shit faced as an adjective, that means that you were really drunk. Yeah. Right. I was absolutely shit faced. Um, what else we got? Shitty. That was a. This is a shitty restaurant. Yeah. This is a really shitty hotel. Oh, I forgot about crap. I completely oh, forgot crap. about crap. Crap is basically the same as shit, but it's less offensive. Yeah, and it describes something being a bit rubbish, doesn't it? Really bad. Like, oh, that was a crap film. What? What's this? What's that restaurant like? It's a bit crap. Yeah. What did, did you like? Did you enjoy the movie? No, it was a bit crap. To be it's honest. kind of. So it's quite a weak word, but it implies a weak thing. Yeah. So if you say what? What are? Um, He's really crap know. in bed. Yeah. Oh, ouch! That would hurt. If yeah. someone said, "What's he like in bed?" Oh, pretty crap. So it sort of implies weak and bad, just bad. So crap, poor, it, poor quality. Crap is like shit, but like less offensive and a bit weaker. Um, so crap, shit, shit head. And didn't crap actually come from the name of the man who invented the toilet, Thomas Crapper? So Sir Thomas Crapper. Sir Thomas Crapper. He, he invented the, the toilet, the flush, uh, flushing toilet. The what was it? it was called something else though? Wasn't crapper. It? it was called the Crapper. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so that, that shouldn't really be offensive at all. It's just a man's name. Yeah. But it's just the associations, again, that's what makes it rude, is the yeah. sound, A, yeah. crap, and <laughs> the association... Yeah, that it means shit. Yeah. Um, shit as a verb, the past participle is shat, so it's like shit, shat, shat. Um, I was shit scared. If you're really, really yeah. scared, that's you used, can... That's used quite often. Yeah. If you're really scared, you can say that you're shit scared. Or I was shitting myself. Yeah, I was absolutely shitting it. Oh, I was... I was I'll tell you what, I was at this uh, this house. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a scenario. No, I was walking through... I was walking through the park and the lights went out. And I heard some noises in the bushes. I was shitting myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't mean literally shitting it just yourself. Means it just really means you were very scared. Very scared. I, I was shitting myself... Um, I was shit scared and then if you don't care about something you can say I just don't give a shit mm. I don't give a shit about that at all I, you don't give a shit do you it means you don't care you don't give a shit about this relationship do you you don't give a shit you don't give a shit about me do you do you fucking Darren you bastard you, you don't, don't give a shit about me or the kids all you care about is fucking drinking <laughs> <laughs> right? that's like EastEnders that's an, yeah. that's an average episode yeah, of EastEnders yeah. How about when the shit hits the fan? When the shit goes down, you better you gotta be, be ready. You better be ready. Okay. When the shit goes okay. down, uh, sh- you better be ready. You better be ready. Stop doing this. because Cypress that, Hill. Cypress Hill is like a rap group you might have heard of. I don't know. Anyway, uh, when the shit hits the fan, that's when the situation gets really serious. When yeah. the shit hits the fan. Um, you can imagine what would happen if shit hit a fan. I'm just trying... Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, disgusting. Do you, nice. do you kind of visualise a ceiling no, fan? No, I'm not visualising anything. Or, or more of a no. desk fan. A desk fan. Really. Desk fan would be easier, wouldn't it? Yeah. But a ceiling fan would be probably worse. Anyway. You'd have to throw it up first. But the ceiling fan would be going slower. Yeah. So I think a desk fan would be... If it got through the grill thing at the front, you might have to shove it through there with your mm-hmm. hand. Yeah. So that's when the shit hits the fan, <laughs> you freak. Um, so next is... Um, yeah, everyone's favourite swear word next, and I think it's more offensive. So if shit was like, well, how many stars are we on now? So shit yes. is about eight, right? Whoa, 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 well, we, whoa. We have, shit is not eight. We did eight. seven. We did level seven. We shit did, is not we, eight. No, I we did, shit we did level six. seven already. 
I'd put Shit at Six. Okay, Shit's at Six then. So but then again, if if they brought out an album called Nevermind the Shit, Here's the Bollocks, yeah. or Here's a Sex Pistol, they wouldn't have made it, would it? No. So I think so Shit is number seven. Mm, I think Shit okay, is... Okay, I'll go with that, just for the sake of... Level seven. And then, so level eight, of course, is Fuck, right? And um, Fuck uh, is one of the most versatile words in the English language. It's a brilliant word. You can use fuck in almost any situation... And, it's, and almost anywhere in the sentence. Yes, yeah, it's brilliant. Like, basically, first of all, fuck um, is a verb which means to have sex with someone. To fuck someone means to have sex with them. Uh, it's transitive or intransitive. It could be passive. Uh, to be fucked by someone. Um, so, to fuck someone or to be fucked by someone. Uh, uh, fuck is also an exclamation that you use when you are angry or surprised or shocked. Oh, fuck! You know, or if you drop something on the floor, fuck, like that, if you're angry. Um, we'd say fuck off, which means go away, like piss off. Fuck off. <laughs> it's, it's brilliant. I had, I, had a band, I had a band split up once. We yeah. were having a band argument, and this guy, he was yeah. Greek, and I don't think he was used to the sort of English sweariness of, yeah. of our culture. Yeah. And he said, you didn't come in at the right time because I'm a drummer. Mm. Obviously wait, 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 wait. So you were in a band. I was in a band. Music, I was playing wait, drums. Wait, we were in band practice. Just hold on a sec. We were you, arguing about the gig that happened the previous week. You were arguing in the rehearsal studio. Yes. And, and he said to you, you didn't come in on time. So you didn't yeah. start playing yeah. at the right time. And I said, fuck off. <laughs> I came in with the bass player. You weren't paying attention. You were in your own little world playing your guitar. Yeah. And because I said, fuck off, he just couldn't handle it and he got very upset. Oh, I'm he, uh, he left the band. <laughs> yeah, but I'm sometimes when you, James. yeah, but I was right. You can't just say "fuck off" to someone. Yeah, but I'm saying amongst friends, you can probably. But he obviously you? wasn't your friend. No, he was a dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> Good, I'm glad he fucked off then. He yeah, so am I. He was. He, was he, could, he wasn't very good at guitar either, to be honest. Prick. Um, what a prick! So anyway, fuck off. Yes, yeah, so fuck off. And you can fuck. say it anyway. You can say, "Oh, for fuck's sake!" Wait, all right, all right. We're coming to that. Fuck oh, you. Wait, wait. Fuck you is good. Fuck you. It's like saying it's just really a direct, offensive thing to say to someone. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck. Imagine if your boss said to you, "Look, James. Um, um, I know that you've been with the company for ten years now." Um, you've been, you know, you've worked very hard for us, but I'm afraid um, we're going to have to let you go. So I'm afraid you're fired. Uh, so just go and get your things, and uh, I'd like you to be out with your your desk clear by five o'clock. Right, well, fuck you. <laughs> I think a better way of telling that story would be, um, hi Luke, uh, you've been with the company for a while. Um, I've noticed just a tiny little thing. You've sometimes when you make the tea you leave the tea bag on the side of the sink would you mind just popping that in the bin when you when you do that oh fuck off <laughs> you think you think that I'm going to clear up some fucking little tea bag just to satisfy you you fucking prick fuck you and fuck off right? fuck you and your fucking you can, job you can take your tea bag and stuff it up your fucking ass and fuck off for nothing while you're doing it yeah um, okay, so very versatile <laughs> I like these little scenarios I like shut, this role shut play the, so. shut the fuck up will you you shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Fuck that, the fuck that's up. That's interesting because fuck that's, up. Wait, 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 that's <laughs> in, Northern, in Northern Ireland, so they say that. Fuck hey, up. Fuck up, you fucker. Right. Fuck anyway, up. anyway, anyway, anyway. There, you've got shut up, but we've added the fuck, and that's quite good because you can say you can use the fuck in any wh question. What the fuck are you doing? Where the fuck are you? Who the fuck is this? <laughs> what the fuck is going on what the here? Fuck, where, where the fuck am I? Who, who the fuck is the president? <laughs> what, fucking, what the fuck is going on? Right? So, the fuck. What the fuck? Who the fuck? You can also um, just chuck it in anywhere in a sentence. So, if you said, fuck where's it. the fucking controller? Or fucking, where's my controller? Yeah. Or what the f fucking fuck? Or you could say, fucking fuck off. <laughs> fucking fuck off you fucking fuck <laughs> fuck you <laughs> so that's fucking the ing form there and will be more swearing yeah there will be some more swearing it's going to get more offensive okay <laughs> if you think this is offensive you ain't seen nothing yet we've got to hurry up you ain't fucking seen any fucking what, yeah. oh we're 48 on 48 minutes we've only right. got about 12 minutes left okay alright so so you can put fucking anywhere in the sentence and usually it just emphasises so 
uh, I don't fucking care what you fucking do or fucking what are we going to fucking do now you fucking idiot right but sometimes it can affect the meaning so compare these two sentences what are you fucking doing in my bed <laughs> yeah what are you fucking doing in my bed and what are you doing fucking in my bed totally different yeah so what are you fucking doing in my bed it means why are you in my bed and what are you doing fucking in my bed that means that you're having sex in my bed what, why are you hopefully having sex hopefully with someone else it'd be a bit late yeah. in the process to be asking that question yeah. otherwise. okay alright and then you can uh, you can say shut the fuck up fucking hell um, I am fucked off I'm really fucked off with my job massively fucked off and that means I'm really angry um, I can't be fucked with this to be honest no 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 no, no I'm serious I'm just going to go <laughs> <Right>. fuck you <laughs> fuck off fuck you um, so what the fuck no fucking way no fucking way yeah and also are you fucking kidding me that's American right you, you gotta be fucking kidding me man <laughs> uh, and then um, you can actually you then what I love about the word fucking is that you can put it into the middle of other words. So you can say, that's unfucking believable. That's a good one. Unfucking believable. Unfucking believable. Absolutely. <laughs> right? Absolutely. That's absolutely. Absolutely, mate. And unbelievable becomes unfucking believable. That's quite common. I love that. Yeah. Fuck you, you fuck. You fucker. You fuck. You fuck. You fuck. Like Robert De Niro. You're going to pay me, you fuck. You're going to pay me, you're going to fucking pay me. You're going to be fucking pay me, you degenerate fuck. If you, I if, can't do it. Luke ever, does the voice If you've ever seen a, a movie with Robert De Niro as a gangster, he will often say things like, Yo, you're going to fucking pay me. Now you're going to fucking pay me, you fuck. Fuck you. Fuck you, you fuck. You fuck you. You're going to fucking pay me, where's my fucking money? Um, so that's like a kind of wasn't that good wasn't that good it's a Robert De Niro impression he is available for um, voiceovers children's parties bar mitzvahs I'm available for children's parties uh, christenings bar mitzvahs uh, weddings Um, and funerals and funerals oh for fuck's sake and I don't give a fuck means I don't give a shit I don't care right and then of course you've got um, motherfucker yeah which is brilliant. It's American English, really. Probably yeah, sort of... Uh, not really used that much over here. Motherfucker. But it's... Just, I mean, Samuel L. Jackson does a good... Mo- mother of... Motherfucker. <laughs> so it's really kind of a black American thing. It's kind thing. of a black thing, isn't yeah. it? Shit. Motherfucker. 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 <laughs> yeah. Um, I read... Uh, you know, Miles... Yeah, motherfucker. You know, the My- you know Miles Davis? He, yeah. Uh, the jazz trumpet player. Brilliant. Genius. Um... I read his book, and the whole book is written in that kind of language. So it's like, shit, I went down to the club, listened to some of that motherfucking jazz. That shit was all up in my motherfucking body, motherfucker, shit. You know, that kind of thing. <laughs> Slightly less cliché. <laughs> <laughs> That's a clichéd sort of black American accent or something. But shit, motherfucker. Motherfuck you, motherfucker, shit. Because we can't swear like a proper black American no. man can. If you listen so to, we can just do a weak parody of it. Listen but. to a comedian like Chris Rock. And yeah. he uses motherfucker shit, motherfuck you, motherfucker <laughs> shit. Or uh, my favourite Easy E from N- NWA. Yeah, he's probably one of the best swearers of all time. Yeah, motherfucker, fuck you, motherfucker, bitch ass, motherfucker. Um, and then, of course, the most offensive sexual swear word is the c word, uh, cunt. You fucking cunt. You cunt. Now, a cunt is like a twat. It's a vagina, right? But this is the most offensive word. Well. It's not the most offensive word, but it, in terms of words that you might use, for example, on a football pitch, this is definitely the most offensive one. There are more offensive I words think, than this. Again, it's because of the sound, isn't it? Cunt. I mean, we were talking just to go back to fuck. My theory on this is it's just the sound that makes it so aggressive, and that's why it's got that association because mm. the aggression. Say so shag probably means the same thing as fuck essentially shag, doesn't it? yeah but if austin powers was going hey shagadelic baby that you think that was okay but if he said fuckadelic whoa, 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 whoa. you're now referring to the movie austin powers mm. and his catchphrase is shagadelic or and shag, fancy a shag baby shag, shag is is a, a word to mean have sex right but it's not very rude it's not just because of the sound i yeah, think shag. I, I mean i couldn't really yeah, sort of prove maybe. this but, but i think it's fuck has got more fuck. power to it maybe fuck off and cunt yeah. Has, has got like a particularly nasty sound yeah, it to it. and but it the, means a really nasty person if you call someone yeah, a cunt you cunt it's like 
a really They've really bad, fucked you over somehow. Really nasty person. Really nasty but, word. But the meaning of cunt is just vagina, and that meaning itself isn't that rude. I mean, it's not too rude, really. What do you think the difference between calling a man a cunt and calling a woman a cunt? I think it's a lot more offensive to call a woman a cunt yeah, than a man. Yeah, it is. It is. Because it's kind of alluding to their... Sexual phys- organs. Phys- physicality, if yeah. that's the right word. Their body. If you said to a woman, you horrible cunt, that would be yeah, more, even more offensive. Well, I think just, it's not a nice word, I think is it? using aggressive language against <clears throat> women is always more offensive, I think. Yeah, yeah. true. Um, so cunt is a noun, and it's a vagina. Um, and But we use the word cunt to mean... A nasty person, like a really nasty bad man. You muggy little cunt. You cunt. It He's sounds good in an East London accent, though. You fucking little cunt. Like, you come here, I'll fucking kill all right, you. Right, right, calm down, you cunt. Um, so, what about? I tell you what, the football factory. That's a good. Uh, okay, okay. That's a good. If you want to watch some references to you little cunt, stop referring to movies and things. Well, I'll put some. I'll put some, put some uh, links. Links onto the page. So, cunt. He's such a cunt. I feel like a cunt. Means I feel really bad. I felt like a proper I cunt. I feel I like you. a prize cunt. Yeah. Um, you he left me high and dry without any fucking you trousers on. I had to walk all the way home in my shorts, in my boxer shorts. You I felt like a right cunt. You I said, stupid you. cunt. You fucking cunt. <laughs> that's probably the most. That's the most offensive thing. You fucking cunt. You fucking cunt. Are you cunting me off? All right. All right. All right. Right. If you listen to Derek and Clive, that's mm. you cunt. You fucking cunt. You fucking little cunt. You <clears throat> right. Cunt, you fucking cunt. All right. Let's just stop. That. How many cunts can we get <laughs> in on this please, podcast? Please just hold on. Is this allowed? Wait, Are you going to get just wait, off wait, the wait, wait. No, I'm not. No. Just hold on. Right. I'm worried. Just be quiet for a second, you fucker. <laughs> um, right. So now let's move into. At what I consider to be genuinely taboo, genuinely offensive, serious language, right? Now, all of the words that we've dealt with so far, they are rude and offensive, certainly, but not in the same way they as the ne- they- not in the same way as the next set of words they could that still we're get going to talk about. Let me finish. Yeah, I've got, those words will definitely get you into trouble, but they're not as bad as the next set of words that we're going to talk about now. And these are the really genuinely taboo words. These are the words that invoke some kind of racial hatred, sexuality hatred, or disability. All right, so. I think the most offensive words are the N word um, in in England, the P word, right? So the N word you might know is, uh, and I don't, I feel really uncomfortable saying this word, like genuinely, really. Maybe just say it once. Okay, I'm going to say it just once because I I don't like this word and I don't like saying it as a as like a, a white English guy. I don't think I can say this word, but anyway, right. I'm going to say it once, and it's the word nigger. Okay, now you might not consider that to be a particularly rude word, but the fact is. That on television, you could say fucking cunt on television. Now, you'd have to say it late at night, but you could say it and you'd be okay. If you were a comedian, you could say fucking cunt and you'd be alright. But if you, as a white comedian in England, if you say the N-word, that's the end of your career, really. I'd say so. If you say it in the wrong way. It's it's racial hatred, basically. And it's the association of so much history. Yes. Um... Because of the way that black people were persecuted or enslaved by white Europeans. Um, you can't really use the word nigger, actually. It's a bit ridiculous saying now, the N word, we might as well say it. There this, yeah. there this I, I don't think I'd ever use it personally. There's an argument around. Unless I was doing an impersonation of Eazy E yeah, and I was right. pretending to be black or there's, something. There's an argument around. That wouldn't the, be very cool either. There's an argument around the N word, which is that that word can be owned by certain people now in black america in hip-hop they use the n-word a lot right yeah hell of uh, a lot they use it all the time <clears throat> and that's there's an argument which says that the black people have taken that word back so that it's not used against them anymore they use it themselves but whether you agree or disagree with that is another another matter and i'd say over here it's that is not really supported by many black people i don't yeah. think i've ever heard a black guy calling another black guy that, yeah. except possibly as a joke. But I don't think it's people, not really used. People in in the UK don't really use the N word, and if you do, it's it's very very offensive. It's bad it. taste at best. At worst, it's seriously offensive. So all of those kind of racial words, but the, in the UK, the word "packy" is a really 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 deeply offensive word, and it's "packy" is used. It, I remember at school, kids would call other kids "packy" if they had dark skin. 
Paki is actually short for Pakistani, but p- kids and people would use that word against anyone with dark skin, Indian, Asian, of any Asian origin, they'd be called Paki. And it was like Paki really just is short for Pakistani, just in the same way that Brit is short for British or Britain or something. But Paki is so much more offensive because that word was used to um, abuse uh, people from Pakistan or India. That word was used when people, uh, Pakistani people were being beaten up or attacked, uh, having their shops or homes broken into and, and, and burned. Like racist groups like the National Front, really a British ri- race, racist group, mm. used, used to write that on people's shops yeah. and things like that. It's a really offensive really word. Really nasty offensive word. Then there are other words that maybe could be used against gay people like fag or faggot. Homo, dyke. Um, I say they're less offensive. Less they're offensive, still but they're pretty, still pretty nasty. Bad. Yeah. Then against disability, you have words like spastic. That's like a sort of mentally disabled person. But, I mean, that's an actual condition. But yeah. I think they've stopped using that word now to use that for that condition because yeah. it's association with like playground insult, yeah. isn't it? Kids used to say spaz. stupid spastic. But that's a very we consider that kind of language to be very rude, and that's political. It's also very childish. As it's well. political correctness yeah. now we're talking about. But, but it's, it is rude. It's, it's, it's offensive for a reason because you're using a disability as a just as an insult. Yeah. In a very yeah, flippant yeah, yeah. way. Yeah. So something like spastic. Now, some a, people would probably say we're being very right on and PC here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Think. Yeah, there's definitely an there's argument. Definitely a lot of people there's, would yeah. say we're being liberal, middle class. Yeah. Pussies. I think that and uh, a th- lot of people would say, "What's wrong with using these words? You're being a uh, middle-class apologist, liberal, a liberal, stuff. whining yeah, liberal." Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, nevertheless, I think. But they're wrong because they're dickheads. I think it's my or our role as educators or teachers to explain what these words mean and to explain the fact that they do have um, a lot of power in, in them, yeah, and that you shouldn't you, you shouldn't use them carelessly. I think that. Political correctness really is about just being careful not to upset people. Yeah, unnecessarily. Um, yeah, so that's a good thing. And also think. not using humour as kind of in a... I don't know, how do I say it? I mean, it's a whole other subject. Mm. British humour, or humour in general, it's kind of okay when you're the... Subject. You're the victim of the humour. Yeah. If you... I don't know, it's hard to explain. Anyway. But it's just hate, uh, sort of making fun out of hatred. Hate, hate, yeah. Using words as a way of hating groups in society, and that's genuinely really wrong and taboo. I can feel how the atmosphere has changed already on this podcast, yeah, yeah, don't you? Yeah. Because we're into uncomfortable territory. Yeah, racism. And that gives you an idea of how taboo and how unacceptable these words are in yeah. normal society. So, we, we find it very hard to joke about words like that's this. Right. Racist language. Although, now, in the past, Words like this were a lot more common. Yeah. And it's only in the last 30 years... Something like that. ...that people have really come to say, OK, this isn't acceptable anymore. But, but say, even 20, 30 years ago, you could have got away... Or less 20 yeah. years ago, you could have got away with saying some of these words. Yeah. I mean, some of them are still used. I mean, say if you said, I'm going for a chinky. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say that, but... Chinky it's, it's, means Chinese... Yeah. Anyway, anyway, anyway. I would say that you shouldn't uh, use language to invoke uh, racial hatred, um, because that's that's like just you it's know, not funny. Is hatred, it? hatred of other people because of their ethnicity is just bang wrong, <laughs> in my opinion. Right. So um, he has but, to say that because he's in, in private. He's a total racist. That's not true. That's not true. Obviously. Um, so what was I going to say? I was going to say I will write a list of all those words that we've just explained on the web page, and you can see them written in all their glory. And um, but just briefly, just to give you a little bit more information, we're going to talk about uh, how to use some swear words, and we're talking about men and women because I noted that down. So let's quickly deal with that. So first of all, you could use swear words. It, most commonly, they would be used to express anger or pain. For example, if you hit your thumb with a hammer, right, or if you drop something on your foot, and you would say "damn" or "bust" or uh, "bloody hell, bastard," "bollocks" or "shit," "fuck." I think if I hit my thumb with a hammer, I'd say, fuck, oh, fuck, yeah. fuck, that hurt. It's also another thing about swearing, it's almost like a release valve yeah. of pressure. Yeah. So when you're very wound up, it almost helps to diffuse the anger by swearing. Yeah. Fucking, fucking, fuck! Yeah. All right. And that stops you 
kind of almost like releasing steam, isn't it? Yeah. It's hard to explain. We, we, we have words that say go away, and that's piss off, bugger off, fuck off. Right? <laughs> oh, fuck off. It means go away, right? Piss off, bugger off, fuck off. And there are words we use to say that someone is an idiot or a, a, a bad person, like you cock, you prick, you bellend, you stupid shit, you f- Fucking cunt. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, for, for many... Are you sure you're allowed to do this? Yeah, of course I'm allowed to do it. Yeah. You're not... I've, pod- I've, Podomatic aren't going to no, ban you. No, they're not going to ban me. No, hey, Podomatic guys, just chill out, yeah? This is educational, yeah? Yeah, I'm teaching people swear words. This is, I think, probably the only place on the internet that you can find such... Uh, detailed explanation of how to swear in British English. Can- candid. It's probably the best explanation of how to swear yeah, yeah. in the world. Yeah, I think so. So, briefly, I think you could use all of those expressions... You're not going to find this on the oh, BBC God. website. No, you're not. You're certainly not. <laughs> BBC Learning English. Fuck you, BBC. Yeah, fuck you. You B- fucking squares, stiffs. What does the BBC actually mean? Big bollocked cunts. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody bastard <laughs> cocks. <laughs> Big bumbling... Yeah, I Big can't. Bloody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. So I think you can use most of that language to refer to men. You could probably use all that language to refer to men. But for women, it's probably like bitch. Is we know what that means? Yeah. Female dog. A uh, slut. Yeah, which slut means is, a s- uh, loose woman. Uh, uh, that sleeps a slut is a an lot. easy woman. Now, in, in in many languages, a bitch is also an easy woman, but it's not the case in English. In English. A bitch is a nasty woman, a horrible, bad woman. But kind like, of like powerful, don't yeah, you think? Like, like a, a bitch would be like a, a female bastard. Yeah, like or, horrible, a really nasty woman is a, is a bitch. Yeah, right? but someone that's kind of maybe got more power. Yeah, maybe. Do you know what I mean? I know what you mean. Like, a, But I think for me, a bitch is someone who talks about other women behind their backs. You know? So like we're getting says, into slightly differences in the sexes yeah, here, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for me, for, for me, bitch is just someone who says really nasty things about another person. You could apply that to a man as well. Yeah. If yeah. you said it, oh, he was bitching about so-and-so. To, that's the verb, to bitch about something. Mm. It means to complain or to talk about something. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, I think it's more offensive to swear about women than it is to swear uh, against men. Uh, yeah. If you call a woman a cunt, that's really nasty. It's really awful. That's really nasty stuff. But if you call a man a cunt, it's quite normal, really. <laughs> especially every he, day. Especially if he's a cunt. Yeah, he probably deserves it. Um, right, I think we should wrap this up now. Yeah, I think we should end on a sort of light note, Yeah. somehow. Like comedy, swearing in comedy. Where do you start well, on that? I think it's great. Like the, One of my favourite films is uh, With Mail and I. Yes. Which is a very obscure British film that you've probably never, ever heard about. And one of the great things about it is the swearing. They swear in that. And it's kind of very upper class creative swearing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, um, yeah. Can you think of some examples? Um, Monty, you terrible cunt! Yeah. Monty, you as... terrible cunt. That's brilliant. Yeah. You don't hear that every day. Yeah. Um, I think I will <coughs> post some um, videos on the webpage of uh, examples of great swearing that you can enjoy. So I recommend and... that you check those out, watch the videos, enjoy them. Please do vote for Luke's English Podcast in the Macmillan Dictionary Awards because, let's face it, which of the other uh, candidates in this award have done such a bold um, and such a detailed explanation of exactly how to say very rude words in yeah. English? No one. No one else has done it. Do you reckon all these words would be in that dictionary? Yeah. What, even cunt? Yeah, of course cunt is in the dictionary. Of course it is. Well, yeah, I knew that. I was just testing. All of these words are in the dictionary. <coughs> they're all, they're all um, genuine and You words. could win that fucking dictionary. Yeah. If you fucking be, can, can be fucking asked to click a little fucking button on your fucking browser, you muggy little cunt. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. That was just an example of I, how to swear effectively. So you've been fucking listening <laughs> to Luke's fucking English bloody podcast. X-rated. The X-rated fucking version. So thanks a lot to my brother. I feel quite tired now. Honestly, I'm worn out. I feel like fucking swearing. I feel a bit sick. sick. It's like it's like eating too much pudding or something. Yeah, isn't I feel it? a bit bad. I it's think like you, you, swearing is best used effectively, simply, and not all the time. I think it's just used um, if you use it very rarely, only at certain occasions. That's when it's best used. But. I, I expect that you feel sick, James. I feel a bit sick with all this swearing. I wonder if my listeners feel sick, so I think it's probably time to end this episode. Thanks very much for listening to Luke's English Podcast. Now, fuck off. <laughs> bye, 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 bye. Ladies and gentlemen, 
This is Luke's English podcast. Can't touch this. This is a masterpiece of the English language. All righty then. Just think of the accolades it's received over the years. Wait a minute. Who are you? I'm Luke Skywalker. I'm here to rescue you. This is going to be good. Really? Yes. I want to get into it, man. Ladies and gentlemen. This is Luke's English podcast. And this is Britain at its best. How <laughs> oh, you lucky people!